Watch me urban sketch this painting from reference and share 6 secrets to urban sketching like a pro. Secret number 1. Loose but focused. So what do I mean by that? Well, let your hand dance on the paper. Keep your main subject in focus, but, you know, loosen up your hand a little bit. Let your pencil, let your pen um, just dangle around in the paper and make those lines a little bit more loose and a little bit more expressive. I'm using a red pencil here and it's a watercolor pencil. Um, you could use graphite pencil, you could go straight in with an ink marker or whatever is your preference. I like using this because I really like that a little bit of red shows through at the end of my sketch because of that watercolor pencil. Alright, let's get to secret number two. Embrace happy accidents. Um, while I was filming this, I made a few mistakes. Well, obviously that's bound to happen, but you know, the fun thing about urban sketching is that it's okay if you make a mistake because it's really easy to cover it up. So really embrace those oops moments and turn them into creative opportunities. Alright, let's get to secret number three. Get into the flow. Immerse yourself in the scene and unlock its creativity. You feel the energy, you observe the expressions on people if you're painting people and let that guide your strokes. Well, in this case, I'm not at the location. I'm painting from a reference, so I can't really, um, you know, paint expressions here, but I can catch the vibe of the place. Um, if you remember from last week, I did the same building in a different style and I was at the location. I was not exactly happy with how it turned out because I was rushing it and if you remember, the ant bit me, and it was too hot, and it was just, I just had to make it super quick. And in an effort to uh, make it super quick, I kind of ended up doing some things that I, I was just not happy about it. I mean, it was fun practice, and I enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed the whole experience of being outside and drawing from live, but um, I wanted to give it a try and try to give it... Um, you know another feel to it this time i'm keeping it a little bit more expressive uh, but also a little bit more real in terms of structure so as you notice my lines are not as loose as they were last week um, this is also loose urban sketching totally don't get me wrong but it is just a little bit more rendered just a tiny bit more it's not going to look realistic at the end, but it is going to have that feel of loose urban sketch as well. As you can see that I did add the windows, but I did not make them perfect. I did add the stairs. They're not perfect at all. The trees are there and I'm adding lots of shapes on trees and I'm adding lots of highlights and shadows using different uh, mediums. Now I switch to Sharpie. Um, first the sketch was with the red watercolor pencil, then I switched to Sharpie to add more shadows, and then I switched to watercolor brush and add some watercolor just to, um, you know, color it and give it a little bit more fun look. Um, right now I am adding texture. I'm using the ink to uh, go on the side of the building just to give it a brick look. I do not like straight lines when I'm doing urban sketch, a loose urban sketch. So I try to give it texture by um, making more expressive lines and more um, intentional lines. Um, so yeah. And now I'm switching to some brush tip markers and um, adding some more shadows. And you'll see in this process that I have used a number of mediums to complete this piece. And um, that ties back into my um, secret number three that I am really getting into the flow. I'm using all my supplies and I'm really enjoying the experience of it, um, you know using what I got and um, just making decisions as I go along. Alright, let's talk about secret number four. 
the magic of negative space. All right. So remember, it's not just the subject that matters. The empty spaces around it, it can elevate your sketch. Negative space gives your artwork breathing room and visual balance. So for example, over here, the negative space, I am adding all the sky and the trees and, you know, making it all come together. Imagine if I leave that out, then my building would kind of look extremely lonely. <laughs> all right, let's do secret number five experiment with materials i kind of covered it a little bit but there's a whole uh, world of art supplies waiting for you to explore don't just stick to your classics of a pencil and eraser if you can just mix and match and find your own unique style there is another way of urban sketch a loose urban sketch that i have tried and i've loved uh, there's so many different styles that i've been experimenting with you saw one last week Here's another one, and I'm thinking I might share another style of this, and I'll do the same building, but in another style of Urban Sketch, and then maybe um, you guys can vote which one you like best. So yeah, and you would need different supplies for different styles, so you know, like now I'm using a color pencil again with some watercolor and some brushes. And this is how it came together but honestly i was not very happy about it so next day just to make it a little bit you know stand out a little bit more the colors need to pop a little bit more i started using alcohol markers so again i layered up my materials started with pencil then uh, sharpies and watercolors and um, now i am doing alcohol markers so there you have it you know there's a whole bunch of art supplies out there waiting for you um let's do secret number six play with perspectives okay so uh you could really play with um you know make your angles a little bit more funky whimsical over here i haven't done that so much but if you have been following me you know i do those type of things too where the buildings will look a little bit more funky Anyways, so here it is. So let's go to the location and check it out. Mm, I love it. What do you guys think? I hope this was helpful. And subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And I'll see you next week. Bye.